you mentioned about mm. re-angling the attitude. We have encountered recently about the attitudes of certain scholars, you mm. know, how they have mm. been like. I mean, what's your take on that? Minority. La. I wouldn't say it's a majority. The scholars I work with in the ministry, uh, although they are technocrat and yeah. uh, uh, followed by the books and... There are those who are really outstanding, are able to look at exceptions to certain policies and mm-hmm. suggest change for the better. Mm-hmm. So we do have very good ones. And I think majority of the scholars we have in the government sector are really uh, shining star, are really uh, mm-hmm. understanding. I think what they need is to go on the ground to understand the, the ground level uh, issues a lot better. Mm-hmm. I think that's the experience they should have. Uh, but. I would say that they're quite open. There are some minority where they, uh, instead of working hard or understanding the issue, uh, in, they will actually be <coughs> looking outwards and complain. When, a ish- when something happens and, uh, or a mistake is made, usually they will blame others before they blame themselves. I think, I, I, I think there are, uh, we have uh, shining stars who would actually look internally and say that we have a system that needs improvement rather than put their fingers outside. And the majority, I would say, that uh, belong to this category. Okay. and re-examine themselves then to just look outside and start pointing fingers. Okay, yeah. so going on to another aspect, what about values? Do the values of the Gen Ys like, even bother you? Because you said that one of the, the greatest concerns, the greatest issues would be in terms of communicating with them and getting them you know, to understand you and for you to understand them. But what about values? I mean, sexual promiscuity is a growing concern, you know, and you know, public displays of affection, that kind of thing. So yeah, more open. Mm-hmm. Um, I think as long as they do not, uh, well, as long as what they are doing uh, is not against the law and uh, it doesn't affect others uh, and they should be more inclusive to accommodate uh, the feelings of other people, I think I think it's fine how they do it. Uh, they should be more caring and more concerning. And I always feel that some of these issues that we bring up and highlight are uh, it's not the majority, but it's the minority. Although more people are open now, mm. uh, but I don't see that. I walk in the streets and every Gen Ys were kissing mm, and mm. hugging each other. I, I don't mm. see that's happening. But uh, then there is, you know, a rising trend, in like in, say for instance, teen pregnancies, things like uh, that. Okay, so it may be okay. a minority, okay. but not public. It, it's still display of affection, but yeah. maybe uh, things are happening where they are more open about uh, sexual relationship mm-hmm. and all. Well, yeah. So that, how, that is how would a, we deal with it? What's what's a good way? I mean, is there even a good way? Honestly, of I think education it? is the way. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the ways that we have to try. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't really top down, and education can't just come from government, but it has to start from the family, uh-huh. uh, and start from people around them, uh, and not just relying on schools, not just relying on government policies, but mm-hmm. really it's about starting it from the family compact unit and uh, from the parents to mm-hmm. be able to educate them and guide them because information is vast and going to the internet you can almost see anything mm-hmm. then is to teach them the right and wrong values and to make the right judgment mm-hmm. I think that's the most important but the caution here is that uh, this is so much you can do because mm-hmm. information overload will always keep coming in no okay. matter what is the change in the society okay so is there even any way of, of managing that or you think it's inevitable, we just got to deal with it as it comes? We can manage, you can't <coughs> control. Okay. Uh, manage by creating awareness of what's right and wrong, educating, uh, bending, bending things and uh, controlling certain things. I think uh, if you go down that path, uh, there may be repercussions because the society is changing, young okay. people's mindsets are changing. and. Imagine controlling the internet. How could you control yeah. the internet? No. You can't. So uh, mindset is changing. Hopefully the values don't change because as Asian and with good education system, they will continue. The majority will continue to have that value in them, and mm-hmm. they could actually be able to influence their peers and all as well. So the majority would still maintain that tradition, maintain that value itself, rather than just totally being open and mm-hmm. being free about sexual relationship.